Lord, good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege to be here this morning, beloved and friends, to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness, regardless of our situation in the world. As he always says, Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty, my friends? That God promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, and every testing. He says, A thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at the right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come by the dwelling. Welcome this morning. Let's give him a big hand this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's a joy and privilege, my friends. Welcome those who are listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, on the street, with your phone in church, or right here. God bless you richly. I release a blessing upon your life this morning, uh, physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, education, in every area of life. Uh, I pray that God will bless you and prosper you in, in every area of your life. I pray this morning that the God will bless your family. God will bless your marriage. God will bless your children. God will bless your finances. God will bless your business. God will bless you on the job and give you a promotion on the job. I build a hedge around God's people this morning. I cover everyone under the precious blood and I pray for divine protection. No weapon that form against you shall prosper in this in Jesus' name this morning. I build a hedge. Every spirit of witchcraft, phobia, demonic forces, evil that come against your life, I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus so powerful. The blood of Jesus is the repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name, my friends, the chief committed, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Christ comes that you might have life and life more abundantly. This morning, God wants you to walk in divine health and happiness and abundant life. But the devil wants to rob you. The first covenant God made with man was a covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with the stripes we are healed I'm healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus name let's give him a big hand this morning hallelujah he is still in the healing business Jesus Christ is the healer of our soul and he is the healer of our body our physical body and he is the healer of our spiritual mind soul and spirit this morning and Jesus Christ loves us with that everlasting love my friends if you're sick this morning I do not care what sickness you have. I'm here to introduce you to the healer. If you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, you're suffering from a heart problem, a liver problem, a lungs problem, a blood dialysis problem. If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame. If you have, you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, what the case may be this morning, my friends, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to introduce you to the healer this morning that he is able to touch you and heal you. If you have a, a migraine headache, a headache non-stop, no painkiller can help you. If you have pain in the joints, arthritis pain. If you have pain from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I'm here to tell you, Jesus Christ died for your sickness and that pain, you do not have to carry that pain, you will be healed. If you're demon possessed this morning and you cannot sleep in the night, Jesus Christ can set you free from every works of demon, every demon good of free. Right now I see demons are fleeing in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is victory in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. My friends, Jesus is the healer this morning. If you are sick unto death and the doctors have given you up and say you will not live, you will die. I'm here to tell you that you will not die. You will live to fulfill purpose and calling and death destiny because God has not finished with you as yet in Jesus name let's give him a big hand
Hallelujah. After the service, my friends and beloved, I'm going to pray for you. But I want to speak tonight uh, on the end time prophecy. We're living in the very last days. Uh, and something might happen this year. We only have three months, uh, my friends. Uh, but God is speaking to mankind. God is speaking to mankind. And something may happen. No one know the time nor the hour when the rapture might take place. Uh, even the Son of God does not know. No one knows. Uh, but I want to encourage you to live your life uh, for Jesus. Uh, make sure you are saved. Uh, make sure you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Uh, going to church uh, and have your name as a member of the church uh, won't save you. Going to church uh, five, six times a week uh, will not save you. You have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and repent, upon, uh, repent from your sins. Uh, Jesus Christ can save you. Make sure you are saved uh, and your salvation in is elect sure and your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life uh, because when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, the dead in Christ shall rise uh, and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord God in the air. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Elon Musk, the richest man in the world, oh, he has over 250 something million billion dollars and he says that he's comfortable in going to hell what a fool he does not even know what the hell looks like and what hell will be my friends the soul never dies the soul lives on for all eternity my friends this body of flesh and blood and bone may perish but the soul and spirit is eternal because we came from god we are part of god and our soul is eternal our soul will never die the only place you can live after this short time but or time is uh, our eternity is in heaven or hell just two places uh, make sure that you make the right choice uh, in the name of jesus uh, this morning i like to speak uh, on the end time prophecy that may happen anytime soon my friends uh, the rapture is the catching up of all believers yes i see the rapture is the catching up uh, of all of the true believers this morning in christ uh, notice i say true believers uh, this event is quite simple my friends, one of the most uh, or changing prophetic events uh, is scheduled on God's prophetic calendar, my friends. Hallelujah. It's, 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 it's my friends, uh, the Savior that we speak of this morning. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus Christ is, uh, is my friends, going to come back, uh, come back at the end of time. Yes, uh, he's coming back. Uh, Jesus is coming in the clouds, uh, altogether different to how he left. Uh, yes, my friends. Uh, hallelujah. Praise God. When the Savior comes, uh, come back, uh, comes back. Uh, this time he will come as a king. He will come as a king. He will come as a lord. Yes, my friends, he will come as the glorified ruler. The glorified ruler. He, will, he is coming back as a lion. The lion of the tribe of Judah. He will come. He will come as a living one. Yes, my friends, he will come as the one with the keys. The keys of death and hell. Hallelujah. Praise God, beloved and friends this morning john chapter 14 verse 1 to 3 tells us what it says let not your heart be troubled yes ye believe in god believe also in me yes he says believe also in me he says in my father's house are many mansions and in my, my many mansions if it were not so i would have told you yes i would have told you he says i go to prepare to prepare a place for you yes i go to prepare a place for you that if i go to prepare a place for you the lord says i will come again I will come again and receive you. I will receive you. I will come and again and receive you unto myself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's give him a big hand this morning. I will come again, he says. I will come again. Jesus promised to return in the clouds in the rapture. He says, I will come again. I will come again to receive you unto myself. Hallelujah. Praise God that where I am, where I am, there he may be also, my friends and beloved. That's a promise and the word of God. Jesus cannot lie. Jesus cannot lie. It is not a lie this morning. He does not make false statements this morning. 
Hallelujah. Not a single word of Jesus Christ has ever failed or feels so feels to come to future, my friends. If one word of this fails, my friends, then it fails, then he is not the Savior. If you are looking, you're looking this morning for he will come again. He will come again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What if the rapture happens today, my friends? What if the rapture happens today? Today. What if the rapture happens right now? What if the rap rapture happened today? Do you have peace in your heart uh, with the rapture happening today? Right now, right now, whatever you are, wherever you are, can, can you pause, my friends, at this message and pray to your heavenly Father and find assurance in Christ Jesus that if the rapture, if the rapture were to happen this very moment, this morning, you will be caught up. You will be caught up, my friends. What a wonderful day the rapture will be. Hallelujah! To to see Christians who die in the I rise before you yes my friends to see Christians rising before you who look like they live a hundred hundred years ago yes and then you will see other Christians who, who live like they live look, look like they live 300 years ago yes my friends and others who look like they live a thousand years ago yes my friends all of them rising, rising for up, up before you. Hallelujah. And my friends, then you who are walking on this earth uh, to be caught up next. Uh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the, in the twinkling of an eye, in the twinkling of an eye, you will be changed. You will be changed. In the twinkling of an eye, you will be transformed. Transformed in the twinkling of an eye, you will be transformed. You will have a wonderful glorious body hallelujah praise God look look forward to look forward to the rapture this morning my friends God give me strength to preach if you have an uneasy about this rapture I invite you this morning to pause this message and whatever you are and wherever you are it may be on a bus or at work my friends or run, running or jogging or at, at your home my friends or in your car pause this message and speak to your heavenly father this morning pour your heart pour your heart out to him pour your heart out to him and understand why you have an uneasiness this morning regarding the rapture my friends and beloved the rapture is something you and I should anticipate my friends to be with Jesus for all eternity yes my friends and beloved you know something sometimes you see flames you see flames that depicts a picture of someone that died and gone to heaven once and wants to come back to this world wants to come back to this world that is entirely incorrect believe me my friends the people who have died and gone to be with the Lord in heaven do not want to come back to this earth no my friends and in all honesty I, I, I don't blame them I don't blame them this morning why on earth will anyone want to come back to this world this world this this world that 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 is full of suffering full of sorrow full of apprehension full full of anxiety my friends and beloved those who are in heaven are in eternal bliss they and my friends they are experiencing they're experiencing a peace that surpasses all understanding this morning hallelujah why they are experiencing a peace that only comes from God this morning hallelujah they don't want to come back they don't want to come back to this world and believe me when you get to heaven when you get to heaven you you too my friends you will too in heaven oh heaven then the rapture happens, my friends. The saints like you and I will be taken, taken to be with the Lord in heaven. Yes, my friends, look forward. Look forward to the rapture. Look forward to the rapture in heaven. There will be no fear of the future. There will be no fear of the future. There will be no fear of tomorrow, my friends and beloved. There will be no fear because of rising in 
interest rates, uh, my friends, uh, and inflation. There will be no fear of rising inflation and, 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 and taxes. There will be no fear of mortgage uh, payments. There will be no fear of car payments. There will be no fear of rent rising. There will be no fear, no fear of uh, uh, not receiving enough income. You will think uh, of yourself, uh, I am there, my friends, uh, hallelujah, for a moment. Uh, just, just a moment this morning, I want you to close your eyes, close your eyes this morning and just attempt, attempt my friends, just attempt to, to imagine how you will feel to know you have made it to heaven. Hallelujah, my friends and beloved, and for all eternity, this will be your state. This will be your state, my friends. Hallelujah, our imagination. It's too weak uh, to even imagine what we will feel, what will we feel like uh, to open your, uh, your eyes and see, and see the eternal bliss of heaven. My friends, uh, you will think of yourself uh, this morning. Uh, thank you, God. Uh, thank you. I accept uh, the free gift of salvation. It's a free gift of salvation this morning. Thank God. Thank God for what Jesus did uh, for me on the cross, uh, for you on the cross. Uh, Thank God this morning I walk on the on the narrow path uh, and my friends and beloved are not the broad road that leads to destruction. Many are heading on the broad road of destruction. Look forward this morning to the rapture, my friends. Look forward for the rapture. Think of the days of Noah, the days of Noah, the flood, uh, the flood. Now think uh, how many people were saved in the days of Noah when the flood came, my friends. Uh, yes, I I want to remind you on how many, how many, eight, just eight persons were saved. Only eight were saved in the days of Noah. The people were so wicked in the days of Noah. Now think of the thousands of people who were on the earth at that time. My friends, out of the thousands of people on the earth at that time, only, only eight, only eight, only eight persons, yes, were saved, my friends, can you imagine that? Not even, not even 0 0.001 of the world's population got into that ark, my friends. So now I ask you, my brother and my sister, how many do you think will be saved out of the eight billion people? People, the rapture happens. The rapture happens. Come on, how many? How many people out of the eight billion people in the world? Not everyone who attends church will be caught up in the sky, my friends. When the Lord returns, Hallelujah! When He returns, look at the state of some of these churches today. My friends, there are churches who can't even teach from the Bible anymore. My friends and beloved, there are churches just having programs and entertainment that don't even speak in the name of Jesus. There are churches who don't recognize Jesus as a door to the Father this morning. Yes, and hundreds of thousands of people attend these churches week in and week out and they are members of churches out thinking, thinking they worship, they worship God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, my friends and beloved. We are told clearly, we are told clearly in the word of God, there is only one way to the Father. John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus says, Jesus said unto him, he says, I am the way, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me, yes, my friends and beloved, and on the day of the rapture, on the day of the rapture, as many people will go up, uh, go up as people. Think, my friends, think maybe there be a few here and few there. There might be some churches where 50, 50 of the 50 of the congregation, 50 percent of the congregation will be taken. Another way, 80 percent of the congregation is uh, taken, my friends, and others where only five percent five or ten percent will be taken why because they were just church goers so i ask you again i ask you again what if the rapture happens today what if the rapture happens today 
will the Lord call you? Will the Lord call you when he comes? As spoken in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16, my friends and beloved. Hallelujah. The rapture has no specific date. My friends, it is going to be the most sudden event. The most sudden event that ever had experience on earth. My friends, it will happen in a split second. In a split second, the trumpet of the archangel will announce the rapture my friends the dead in Christ will hear it and, pray, and resurrect from the dead with the glorified body my friends and which they will be granted a supernatural transition a supernatural sense transition to meet the Lord in the skies hallelujah praise God ladies and gentlemen this morning Brothers and sisters, the day of the rapture is a tremendous day. My friends, it is a tremendous day on the day we will see the church attendance. Does not mean you are a sheep of Christ today. My friends, church attendance does not mean salvation. Being, my friends, born in a church, being a church and going to church your whole life does not make you a Christian this morning any more than being born in the garage makes makes you a car this morning my friends and beloved yes still on this wrong side of Christ this morning hallelujah are you still a goat in the eyes of God of the Lord this morning you see you we all are born on the wrong side of Christ we are all born on the wrong side in sin you don't have to stay there you don't have to stay there unfortunately my friends there are so many people who have still not come come to Christ come to Christ in their hearts yes my friends they have never called out to God they have never called out to God have mercy on them are you the person I'm speaking about today my friends you have never called out to Christ yes to ask him to have mercy on you yes and mercy upon you for your sins this morning my friends you live your whole life you live your whole life for there and then now and you have not seen you have not seen eternity for the reality that it is this morning you have never sat down sat down to think about your eternal destiny you have never thought about the beauty of heaven hallelujah or the beauty or the heat of hell this morning my friends, you have never called out to God for Him to deal with your with you about your your lukewarmness and double mindedness. My friends, you have asked yourself, you have asked yourself, what if the rapture happens tomorrow? What if the rapture happens tomorrow? Will I be left behind, or will I be caught up, caught up with the saints? With the saints, with the saints, keep watching, keep watching for the rapture because we do not know the day. We do not know the day or the hour or, or it might happen, my friends. It is therefore our responsibility to watch, to watch by living a ready life of holiness and righteousness. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hold on to Jesus this morning, my friends. Hold on to Him this morning. Hold on to Him. Salvation is not about you. Yes, you can add, you can add to the finished work of what Christ did, my friends, on the cross of Calvary. No, it's all about Him this morning. It's all about Him. Depend totally on His work on the cross. Believe, believe in Him. Believe, believe in Him this morning. Morning. Believe in his name this morning. Hallelujah. Believe in Jesus Christ and you will be saved. My friends and beloved, all my brethren, all my family, all my relatives, all my cousins, my dozens, aunts, uncles, all across the world, in Canada, in USA, in Italy, in all across in the Caribbean, all across the world, in England, the UK, all across the world. I'm speaking to you this morning. And my friends and family and beloved, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. 
accept the gift of salvation and you will spend eternity in heaven. My friends, stop covering on the religion. You know it from your heart that you are not living right. You know you're heading for hell. You know that you're covering on the religion. Stop covering on the religion. Stop covering. Take a stop taking of your life. We have all born in sin. We have a sinful nature. We cannot save ourselves. And that is why Jesus came into this world. God sent his only begotten son into this world. And he died. He shed his blood. Because oh, he loved the world. He loves you and me. He died in our place that we might have life and life were abundantly. My friends and family and beloved, I want to tell you this morning that uh, salvation is a gift from God. Accept that gift. Repent from your sins. Ask God to forgive you and let you and let, let him save you this morning. And your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The rapture will take place very soon. And if you miss the rapture, you will have to go through the seven-year tribulation period. Religion will not save you. You will end up in the pits of hell because those who receive the mark of the beast will be cut off completely from God. Because when the Antichrist takes over, he says, no one in Revelation, no one will be able to buy or sell unless he receive the mark of the beast. No one will be able to transact any business unless they receive the mark of the beast, which is 666. And when you receive the mark of the beast, you're destined to only one place, to hell for all eternity. Because anytime a person takes the mark of the beast, they is cut off completely from all Mighty God, my friends all across the world, those who can listen to me, forward this message. I know I only have a few subscribers, but follow, but forward this message to your friends and loved ones, my beloved, my friends and family. Forward this message to someone. Let them hear this message this morning of repentance. God loves you very much. He says, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, it shall be as snow. Though it be like crimson, it shall be as wool. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Are you saved this morning? Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Stop playing church. Church attendance will save you. You're, you as a member of the church, your name on the register will save you. You have to be born again. Nicodemus was a preacher and a teacher in the temple. And yet he was not saved. He was troubled in spirit. And he went to Jesus. And he says, how oh, must I be saved? <coughs> and Jesus told him, <coughs> he said, Nicodemus, thou art a teacher from God. And knoweth not these things except a man be born again. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. My friends, in this flesh, you cannot please God. In this flesh, no matter how hard you try, no good works can save you. You can do all the good works. You can live all your best life. You can do all the good works. It's all the self-righteousness. It will not save you. Your self-righteousness will send you to the pits of hell. Only Jesus Christ can save you because he died for you and for me and for the entire world. It's a gift of God for salvation. It's a gift. Accept him today and be saved from the wrath of what is coming. We are living in a very sick and sinful world. The world is heading for destruction and Jesus Christ can put in his appearance as at any time. Time is running out. Be saved and make sure you make it in the rapture in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. I always say, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Even Elon Musk, if you do not accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, will spend eternity in hell, although he have over 250 something billion dollars. He is the richest man in the world. But if you do not accept Christ, I do not care how much million you have in the bank account. 
that cannot save you. I do not care how good you live your life. If you have never committed adultery or fornication or sin and you live the most holy, holy life, you're still going to hell because your goodness and your self-righteousness cannot save you. Sorry to be so harsh, brothers and sisters and family and friends. The prophet must speak the truth and my blood is off. My blood is not, uh, your blood is not on my shoulder. I have preached the word of God. So if you end up in hell, please do not call for me in Jesus' name. God bless you richly. Do have a wonderful day. And let me pray for you this morning. There is a tremendous anointing. I promise uh, I will pray for you after the service. Uh, and wherever you are right now in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I want to remind you, Jesus Christ took 39 steps. 39 lashes upon his back with a cat and tail. His flesh was ripped and marred. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. And right now wherever you are, wherever you are, whichever country you are, God is no respect of person and there is no distance where prayer is concerned. I'm going to send for the anointing and you will be healed. You will be saved. You will be delivered. You will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease this morning in Jesus name right now are you ready are you ready right now be healed in the name of Jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit it be delivered in Jesus name let's give the Lord a big hand I see many are healed many are saved many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities I see demons are freeing demons are leaving many lives right now in Jesus name you will sleep some tonight those tormented demons are gone your sickness is healed to today my friends go back and check with the doctor let them examine you. There is no trace of any sickness in your body. All those pains and sickness and disease are gone in the mighty name of Jesus. I feel that in my spirit. Those of you, the doctors have given a written report and say you will not die. Go back tomorrow and check. Your sickness is gone. Your disease is gone. You will not die. You will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand to you. Hallelujah. God is awesome. God is great and God is mighty. Sickness is not of God. Sickness is of the devil. And God has healed you today and set you free. Whom the Son set free is free indeed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, my friends, and being a joy and great privilege to be here to minister the word of God. I trust my word and my preaching has not gone in vain. My friends, I preach and I pray today that you listen to the word of God, listen to the man of God, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in Jesus' precious name. God bless you richly. Do have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of the day. I'll see you tonight for prayers in Jesus' precious, God's will, in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. I love you in the love of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Amen.